In tonight's Live Healthy report, a little known trick to treat thinning hair. Some men are now using a female fix to help their hair grow back. Women actually use it on their eyelashes. I've seen the commercials and they make the eyelashes grow just mm -hmm. like that, but apparently men say it works for them too. NBC Miami's health reporter Dinah Gonzalez joins us tonight with more on that. Hey, Don. Well, obviously Kevin has, and you've probably seen the commercials with Claire Danes and Brooke Shields showing off their super long natural lashes. Well, can the product they're putting on their eyes have the same effect on your head? Latisse was approved by the FDA in December 2008 to make skimpy lashes grow thicker and longer. And so we always wondered, well, gosh, what is it going to do for the scalp if it works that good on the lashes? Specifically for hair that's thinning, not gone. We're selecting patients who have thin, wispy hair in the areas of concern. Hair restoration specialist Dr. Alan Bauman of Boca Raton decided to try Latisse off-label, which means an unapproved use on about a dozen of his patients, both men and women. It's applied once a day on the scalp. And what we're seeing is that the hairs over time reverse, meaning they get thicker, darker, stronger. And week by week, it goes up to a point and then basically plateaus. He points to subtle before and after photos of a young man who applied Latisse to his temples. That's where he got the nice improvement. On the small group of patients Dr. Bauman is treating on his own, he has seen no side effects. However, a major concern is the cost of the Latisse right now. It's about $150 for a tiny little bottle. Which lasts about three weeks. It's twice as expensive as this prescription strength compounded version of minoxidil. Another option for hair thinning, laser treatment, but you no longer have to sit in an office to do it. So what we have now is something called the laser cap. Laser cap has 224 laser diodes embedded in it. Making it easier than coming in for treatment two to three times a week. At $3,000 a cap, it's actually less than coming in for a year of treatments. It emits quite a bit of power, also painless, non-invasive, also improves hair growth. Growing hair can be a very expensive proposition. By the way, Allergan, the manufacturer of Latisse, is conducting clinical trials on its product for scalp hair, seeking FDA approval. Helping you live healthy, Diana Gonzalez, NBC Miami. Great stuff, Diana. Thank you. And if all else fails, just go Michael Jordan. Shave it. Shaved is cool.